Hello everyone, uh, very good afternoon and in this video I am going to discuss how we can generate a model summary in PyTorch the way we do in Keras. So if you have been using Keras, you will know that uh, whatever model we create, we can create a very nice summary of it showing the output shape of every layer and the parameters of it with just one command model.summary and uh, let's do something similar with the PyTorch where we can generate this kind of summary with the output shape and the parameters. So let's see how we can do it. So in PyTorch, if you want to just see the model, you can just simply print the model and you will see all the model layers in a hierarchy uh, specifying what layers are they, their uh, filters and all their parameters. But if you want to get a summary like this, where you want to know the parameters, the output shape after every layer and their sizes, then we can do it using one library and it's called a Torch Summary Library. It's a very nice library and it's very easy to install just do a pip install torch summary and you will get it in your environment and once you have installed it then uh, you can get a summary by just using the summary method and passing the model and the input shape as the input for a fully connected layer or for a 2d cnn or for a 3d cnn so let me show you through the code directly how how this will look like so first uh, let's generate a model summary in Keras just to have a revision. So I have created a Keras model here. It's a sequential model where I'm adding two convolution layer followed by max pool dropout flatten and all. So you just uh, run this model and uh, yeah, and it will uh, create a model for you and you simply call the model dot summary and what you get is the summary of all the layer type, the output shape and parameters. Now let's do this uh, in PyTorch with the PyTorch torch summary library. So what I'll do here, uh, I'll import all the necessary modules. Uh, let me just, so uh, this is, uh, you have to import the summary module from the torch summary. And what we'll do is we'll first check whether we have CUDA available or not. And we can do with this command and the goal is if you have CUDA available, then you have to transfer your model to the CUDA. If not, then it will be on the CPU. So let's create a PyTorch neural network with two convolution layer. And this is, uh, we'll, we'll define a class. So let me, let me run this and we'll see. So we'll define a class with the CNN layers and a forward function, as you can see here. And this way uh, you can define your model in PyTorch. And then let's call our model and you can see the model architecture with just a print model and you can see what are the layers defined the max pool conf uh, the linear layers now we'll transfer it to the device if i'm using cuda it'll be trans transfer to the cuda or or else in the cpu and now in order to create a summary we'll just use the summary we'll pass this defined model and we'll give the input so this is a cnn model which takes two by two to four by two to four rgb image so i'll pass three by two to four by two to four so in PyTorch, the number of channels is given at the front. And now when I run this, uh, you will see a very nice summary created for you here. And you can see the output uh, of this conv, la conv layer will be 32 by 224 by 224 because there were 32 filters defined for the first conv layer. And since I use a padding of one, my output uh, size did not change. So this gives you the output shape of every layer. Now, uh, not only this, you can also see the output summary of the pre-trained model. So I use, I'll use a torch vision to import a LXNet and let me show you with LXNet how it looks like. So it's pretty much the same. I'm just showing you different examples of this and it will take some time maybe. Yeah, so we, we got it. So now you see here uh, it's a LXNet uh, with defined conf layer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and its input being a you know, I don't know what was its shape, maybe two to four, but its output got reduced to five by five, uh, 55 by 55 and, and so on. Now, uh, I will also show you example of a 3D CNN. So where we have to pass a four dimensional input. So this is a summary of a 3D CNN where the input I passed to this was a number of channels, number of frames and the uh, you know the width and the height and it's able to generate a very nice summary for you like this here being the number of uh, Con maps the number of frames and the uh, width and height dimension getting reduced after the convolution and if you have fully connected layer for example say a, a Logistic regression like this then you have to pass the summary instead of just 784 like if the input is 784 You have to pass it in form of a iteratable tuple maybe or tuple or list like 1 by 784 and if I run this, uh, you will get a summary of your logistic regression model. 
so pretty much that's it from this i just wanted to show you that there is this function called summary which you can use it to generate a very nice uh, you know summary of your summary of the flow of flow of your output through your model and yeah that's all but uh, before i close down i just wanted to use this opportunity to maybe create a little awareness about the coronavirus so it has been declared by who as a global outbreak more than 47 countries being affected and more than 82000 people uh, already getting affected with this so the basic thing that you can do is you frequently wash your hands with uh, your alcohol based hand wash or soap water and after coughing sneezing toilet eating before eating and all that you just just wash your hands as much as you can that will kill the virus and also do not spit in public and if you get any symptoms of any flu like cough, fever, uh, cold, breathing difficulty, go to your doctor as soon as possible. And whenever you cough or sneeze, just cover it with a tissue paper and throw it immediately. And, and obviously, you just wash your hand. So just take care of yourself. And uh, this uh, model summary, I've written a blog also on this. It's, it's on the Medium. So I'll post the link for that. And I will also give the link of this WHO uh, guidelines of how to maintain your food, how to take care of other stuffs. So that's all from this side. Use the uh, tort summary to get a insight of your model. And uh, till then, till next time, keep learning and keep exploring neurons. Bye.